When I'm climbing, it's like being free. When I'm climbing in a finals, in a big comp, everything switches off and all I focus on is the next move and that's all that's going through my head. So I don't think about my disability. It never comes into my head about not being able to use one of my legs. I first started climbing when I was nine years old. It was the only sport that I went home and said to my mum, uh, I really want to do this for a living when I'm older. And I had loved sports like throughout my childhood and this was like the one sport I was really passionate about. And I continued to climb until I was maybe 11 or so and then stopped completely. I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease when I was 13, um, which obviously is not something that you would think would affect your leg. But because of complications with my disease and the medication, I was having problems with my leg when I was about 11 and it just progressively got worse throughout my teenage years um, until it came that I couldn't use it when I was in my early teens. And yeah, I had a pretty rubbish illness as they go, but not the worst. So, and I'm like, I don't know, I spent a lot of, a lot of years pretty unwell uh, in and out of hospital, missing out on quite a lot of life. And then now that I'm in my, well, I'm 25 now, since my 20s, things have really picked up and I'm trying to make back time. Okay, the backstory is I changed my training. I, B's now my coach um, and partner, which is a tricky balance, but she's, she's pretty good at it. Um, so we trained a lot for trips outside, spent a lot of time on rock this year. And my highlight is definitely climbing 7B outside. I really have an aim to climb 8A. I want to be the first female with one leg to climb 8A. Um, and I, it was kind of like a wild ambition of mine after I'd climbed one 7A, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get an 8A one day. I don't think I get annoyed when people tell me I can't do things. I think it, it drives me to do them. If I got annoyed and just like left it being annoyed and angry, that would be different to me actually using it to like push myself as a climber. So I'll be like, I'm gonna go and do it then. <laughs> the lows are, the lows are something I'm learning to deal with. <laughs> Definitely learning to deal with. The paraclimbing team have team psychologist Emma Wood, who I use uh, and talk to a lot about dealing with failure when you're climbing and when you're training. And it's not something I've mastered and it's not something that I'm very good at, but I try really hard. <laughs> Sometimes you can accept failure as learning. I can accept that I feel a little bit weaker doing some, like, some sort of exercise or that I'm falling off routes that I really want to be topping because I feel like I'm learning and I kind of get that I'm learning and I actually accept that I'm learning and it's one day it will go and every time you fall off you get stronger. As I decided to take climbing a bit more seriously, I was leaving the house more, I was training more. Climbers are like a different breed of, of disabled people. I don't know if you can say that or not, but. They really are like the, the psych that we all have, like none of us on the team complain about our disabilities and we all just get on with them and like they're not real barriers. We all just want to be good climbers. And that's like the bottom line is that I just want to be a good climber. I don't want to be a good para climber. I want to be seen as a good climber. Being with the team enables me to be me and not just Hannah in a wheelchair. It's like I'm Hannah again. Uh, and that's, yeah, that's been key to, to like getting myself back in a way, and like making up on those, those lost teenage years. Uh, and I've become way more independent since, since becoming part of the team and going away with the team on my own and things like that. And that's, it might sound small and silly, but those are not things that I did before because I had this like, oh, you're in a wheelchair, you can't do anything. But actually, yeah, you can. You can do, you can do more than most people uh, with their right attitude. I'm grateful for my family and my friends. And I'm really grateful. I don't want to be like a sad sack, but I'm very grateful for B. I'm really grateful for B. Yeah, she's changed my life massively um, and my climbing. And she motivates me to be better and be stronger and climb harder. And I'm grateful that, I'm kind of grateful that we live in a society that means that it's okay that I'm with B because that wouldn't have been okay so many years ago. Not that long ago, really and I'm grateful that I have a family that supports me and lets me go off on my crazy adventures and lets me do all this crazy training and climb mental routes outside.
Life's pretty sweet.